God bless you. I am Dr. Courtney Pope. And I am Pastor Audrey Pope. And you are watching Living, Living Devotions. Devotions, our time in the Word of God with the people of God. Yes, We're going to find the right hashtag. Yeah, we'll find something. <laughs> <laughs> but our time in the Word of God with the people of God, it's a Living Devotions. Yes, it is. Pastor, the Lord gave me that in the beginning of the pandemic, and we've been running with that since. And I thank yes, God yes. because people are watching. Amen, amen. I praise God. When the Lord gave that to me, I, I, always, I felt that the word of God gives us life and makes us alive. Yes. His word, and when we read his word, it gives life to us. There's our hashtag, <laughs> living devotions, where the word of God gives life and make you alive. Mm -hmm. There's our yeah. hashtag. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, Pastor, we are in a series, and I want to thank everyone who came on uh, last week on our Midweek Connect. Yes. And yes. my God, they were from upstate New York, yes. from Pennsylvania, yes. from Delaware, from New Jersey. Yes. Come on, people of God. Join us each Wednesday. The information is at the end of this program. Make sure you get it. Some people said, oh, it went so fast, I couldn't see it. Put it on pause. Right. <laughs> pause it, enlarge it, whatever you have to do yeah, to get yeah. it, and then save it. it. And it doesn't change unless we change it. We will let you know. Right. Pastor, let's go in prayer so we get right back into part two of this series. Amen. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you praise. Thank you for this moment. Thank you for this time. Thank you for this opportunity that we have to spend in your word. Now, Lord God, word, word our mouths, Lord God. Give us the, a revelation so that people get the understanding. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. That's what the prayer is about, that people get the understanding. Oh, that excites me. Amen. That excites amen. me. Amen. So we started a series last week, and the, the feedback with the uh, uh, a midweek connect was very positive. Yes. We had an awesome discussion. I can't wait for the discussion tonight. Yes, yes. Cannot wait for that. So make sure you get on tonight at eight o'clock and let's go in. Uh, we talk. Our topic is culture wars. Yes. Woo! yes, yes. And we are spending the entire month of September. Yes. We have what four weeks uh -huh. of teaching. Four weeks, and we have it all mapped out. Unless mm -hmm. the Lord say something different i know he'll add to it yes, but yes. um culture wars and last week we in part one and you can view that on our on the facebook channel or the youtube channel yes. part one we talked about customized christianity yes. everybody wanted their own way and we've gotten pandemic pandemic pan, we've become pandemic spoiled yes because now our sanctuaries are our couches. Yeah. We don't want to come to church. And then we're 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 embracing almost everything that's being dished out. Yeah, Not by the Holy Ghost, but that's by it. the world. That's it. And we the body of Christ are embracing that. So we talked about customized Christianity. These are the culture wars because there's a culture of our world, but there's also the culture of God, which is the culture of the kingdom of heaven. Yes, kingdom culture. Kingdom culture. And I think we brought this out that because we are in the kingdom culture, the kingdom of God, it is not a subculture. That's it. That means it's below. It's an above culture. It's above culture. But it is the counterculture. Yes. It is the correct that's culture. That's it. That's it is the first oh, culture. That's good. That's good. Come on. Yes, Amen. Absolutely. So today we're jumping into part two of a four, was it four week four weeks. Uh -huh. So now if you didn't miss last week, go back and play it. We can't give you next week yet because we haven't taught it. Yes. But right now we're talking about our second part of culture wars, and our topic today is culture. Shock. Culture shock. My gosh. Culture shock. <laughs> I mean, where do we begin with that? I am shocked at how some Christians are embracing the things of the world. We are shocked. Right. How we are just, you know, in accepting this or that. I am shocked how many believers won't come to church. Yes. I am shocked. Unfortunately, I'm not shocked. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so as you know, we said last week, 
We are really in the book of Daniel. We're not all over the Bible with our topic, but we are in the book of Daniel, and we touched upon some good things, I yes, believe, yes. on last week. And Pastor, you kept inching your way into this week, but it's all right. It, it got the people prepared to know what was coming yes, next. So uh, today we are in Daniel chapter 3. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Daniel chapter 3. And once you begin to read it, you will find it very familiar. We're not going to read everything there, but we're going to look at particular things. And the first thing we need to look at is Daniel chapter 3 and verse 1. Now, remember, we are on a time limit. So we're going to speak fast. You got to catch us because the floor director here is keeping us. He is strictly keeping us limited on, on time. There you go. Keeping us on time. So in Daniel chapter 3 and verse 1, it reads, Nebuchadnezzar, the king made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits and the breadth uh, thereof six cubits. He set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Mm -hmm. He set up this image and it was a golden image of himself in his own kingdom. Mm -hmm. The enemy is now, I'm talking about Nebuchadnezzar now, but the enemy is setting up Satan, yes. the, the spirit that is ruling and that we are warring against in this age, the spirit of this age, is setting up its own image. Mm -hmm. And too many believers, too many people do not discern properly. Yes. They are not discerning what is righteous or what is of God, godly, and what is wrong. That's, that's true, Bishop. That is true. I think uh, the root of that spirit is pride. And that's one of the things that caused the fall in the garden. It sure did. Pride. That's right. So it, the enemy is causing people to to uh, live in pride mm. and to set up their own kingdoms. We mm. there is also such a spirit of idolatry. We don't yes. realize how we are voluntarily worshiping other bowing things. down to we other are things. Voluntarily bowing down, like yes, you said, yes. to other things. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's the enemy's intent. Amen. You know what I'm saying? That yes, we indeed. just we be asleep with our spirituality. Wow, yeah. That we just yeah. don't know what's going on. And right. he just leads us mm -hmm. into where he wants sure. us to go. Pastor, you said something right there. You mentioned the word idolatry. And we don't even hear that word anymore mm -hmm. in church. Mm -hmm. We don't hear it taught. We, I can't say it's never being taught. Right. We're not in every sure. church and right. hearing every sermon. Sure. But we don't generally hear Christians talking about that. Mm -hmm. We don't hear the prophets speaking mm -hmm. about that. Because everyone's talking about if you sow this seed and mm -hmm. this next shout and the, the next yell. I hope that's being, mm -hmm. being played out now. Mm -hmm. I hope that's on its way out. Yeah. Now, I am for real, listeners, so that we can really live off and build our Christian faith off of the substance yes. of the word of God and respect for true prophecy. That's true. That's true. Lord, I, I hope I hope they're saying amen at all. Amen. I really hope you're yeah. saying amen. Because if you're like me, I'm kind I'm almost I don't want to say I'm like the people in the world, but I'm getting a bad taste in yeah. my mouth yeah. for Christian television yeah. because it really is infomercials. It's true. It's true. Yeah. So anyway, we, we'll come back to that another Topic. We'll we'll have another lesson called Doctor Pope's grievances. <laughs> the things I've been that are taking Doctor Pope off. <laughs> A twelve part series. <laughs> but anyway, but uh, uh, in here in Daniel chapter one, everything you said, Pastor, was so true. And if we could just exegete this and go through this, in verse one it says Nebuchadnezzar the king. The first thing we have to realize: who is supposing theirself to be king? who is putting themselves on a worldly throne. And we know that the enemy, this is how we exegete scripture, read it, and the, this is what the Holy Ghost does with me. Mm -hmm. Allow me to see each word, each phrase, each sentence, each stanza, and, and the words leap off the page mm -hmm. to my understanding, and that allows me to hear from heaven and bring clarity to you via teaching. But Nebuchadnezzar the king, our world is around, is is uh, runs off of uh, we know world empires, mm -hmm. but all of that, listen, because there is a spirit behind everything, there's a spirit behind everything that's good. That's it. There are also spirits behind yeah, everything, everything that's, that's wrong, that's, that's evil. Mm -hmm. So man in the creation, in God's creation mm -hmm. of the world and of humankind, we have to believe that men or mankind knew how to set up empires and monarchies. Based on, and the scripture gives us 
this understanding in Ephesians based on demonic rulership. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So the, the, we read it in Genesis where it says that the sons of God, and, mm -hmm. and many believe that those were angels. Some believe it was the seed of Seth. There's a little, mm -hmm. this, and, and some of you that really know my feeling about that, you know which way I lean to that. But uh, the popular belief is that these were fallen angels mm -hmm. called the sons of God, and they had uh, sexual relations yes. with yes. earthly women, fleshly yes. women, yes. and from that was birthed the giants. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, but that's another discussion yeah. because there are things I can mention yes. mm -hmm. to sort of, and I'm not alone in that, mm -hmm. but that's a different discussion. Yes. But my point is from that time, mm -hmm. mankind knew how to set up empires mm -hmm. and monarchies based off of demonic influence. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. Satan, when he was cast out of heaven, mm -hmm. and the third of, eight of the angels that were cast out with them became rulers of the principal of the air, air. Mm -hmm. of this heaven. Right. There's the third heaven. That's where mm -hmm. there's the first heaven that is our atmosphere. Mm -hmm. The second heaven is outer space. And the third heaven is the abode of God. Mm -hmm. Ah, good, good, good word. Good yes. word. You should be taking notes. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, Mankind knew how to set up empires based off of mm -hmm. the demonic activity, the, the mm -hmm. demonic influence, because Satan, after the fall of Adam and Eve in the boy, pastor, that's good, that's this good is good, good teaching, good, good, good substance. Good. Listen, in the since the fall of Adam and Eve in the garden, Satan usurped his authority, yes. and then because man was fallen and a redeemer had to come yes. to put everything but back in place, Satan didn't know who or when, uh -huh. but he knew right at the time he could yes, rule. That's it. That's it. Wow. And mankind had to find his way mm -hmm. back to God. Yes. And he did it through things like uh, Levitical order. That will come way down the road with yes. Moses through yes. the priesthood. Exactly. But he would do it even before that through erecting altars mm -hmm. in high places, mm -hmm. sacrificing animals, and having God to be pleased mm -hmm. with the uh, meat offering or the burnt offering. Mm -hmm. Isn't it something how the enemy had, because he wanted to usurp authority in heaven and he had to be kicked out of heaven, wanted to set up his empire down here. Do you hear that? So he uses it See? through man through mankind. to set up his sure. empire or his rulership since he could not do it where God dwells. We're going somewhere. He couldn't do it in heaven because heaven is spiritual. Yes. And everyone there is spirit, yes. including Lucifer, yes. including the third of the angels yes. who were right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. right. But when they went pride, yep. entered into Lucifer's heart, mm -hmm. into his being, mm -hmm. and, and he convinced or persuaded through deception, mm -hmm. a third of the angels. Jesus said, I beheld Satan fall as lightning. lightning. He didn't it. say, I threw him out he that said, quick. I he said, I saw I him. That's it. So God was like, just you like out, that. Buster. Just like that. Lucifer, loose, you just are like out. Just like and that. just like lightning flash, wow. that's how just quick like he was that. expelled. Right. There was no go home and pack your bags. There was no, God was taking no chance for him to influence any other angelic beings. Yes, it. He was out. And you're right. So in the in heaven, the eternal realm, mm -hmm. he was all spirit. Yep. But in the earth realm, mm -hmm. it is flesh. Yes. So he can only yep. have dominion through the inf through influencing the minds of human people. That's it. That's through it. flesh. That's it. Just like flesh God. cannot. Flesh is not sin. It is what we do Dude, in the flesh. flesh. That's that it. really leaves That's spiritual, it. yes, spiritual impact or spiritual yes. influence, and I'm yes. talking about in the negative mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in this world. Mm -hmm. Isn't it something how wow. the the enemy has to use mankind to to get his agenda done? But just the same way God uses his uh, <laughs> mankind to get his agenda oh, done. Oh, because it's in the earth realm, That's it. and that's why man is here. Man was created to have dominion, be fruitful, multiply, subdue. And replenish. It's all in Genesis 1 and 2. In Genesis chapter 1. Those five things. Man was given that. Luke, Satan never had that. That's it. That's he it. only tries to steal it. That's it. That's Jesus it. says the enemy comes only but to kill. Kill your dream. That's kill your spiritual uh -huh. walk. Steal. Yeah. Steal your spiritual That's authority. Right. And, and destroy. Destroyed. Destroy what God is trying to build. But he is building in the earth realm. Bishop. The enemy. Excuse me. I'm Dr. Pope on Wednesdays. 
out the door. <laughs> the enemy could not change. He can't do anything about man being made in the image of God. So what he is bent on is distorting the image. Distorting the image. Yes. Distorting the image. We, yes. You cannot yes. see. If we don't stick to this, but <laughs> this all works. No, it yes, all works it because right. this is the culture right. shock. That's it. What is going on? How come the world is going to hell in the handbasket? Why are believers falling short of the glory of God? But all this is the enemy's agenda. It's all the enemy's agenda. God. Oh, my he God. And it's been That's here for it. a minute. It it's been, been here oh, for yeah. a minute, my God. Yeah, so so let's go to our text because God knows this is good. Yes. And we're not going to be long. We only have a yes. few yes. other yes. things we're going to add to we it. We, we only have a few things. Yes. But I want to mention to you, it says Nebuchadnezzar the king. Now, all of that came from Nebuchadnezzar the king. Three words. Yes. Three <laughs> words. That's the revelatory teacher yes. that uh, Dr. Pope is. Ministers, pray for that anointing. Yes. Yes. I'm serious. All right, Nebuchadnezzar the king, and we went off almost 20 minutes yes. with that revelation. He built, he made an image of gold. Now, come on, how attractive is gold? Mm -hmm, beautiful. How oh, attractive beautiful. is gold? Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave that right there. Mm -hmm. We're going to leave that right there because those that know me, they're probably saying, come on, he guilty. Come on, let me see he get his deliverance. How? But I got on silver tonight. How attractive <laughs> is gold? I stepped down because I knew we were talking about gold. See. <laughs> how attractive is gold? All right, but when he built this, he built the three score cubits high. That is, uh, what is that, 30? That's 90 feet. Mm -hmm, 90 feet. Okay, so da, 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 the scripture says, whose height was three score cubits high. That is 90 feet. Mm -hmm. When you talk about high, 90 feet would be equal to a six-story building. Wow. So we look at a building that's up to six floors. Mm -hmm. That's how high this image was wow. in gold. Now we're talking about back in the biblical. Back we're talking about day. gold. Yeah, we we're not talking. Stuff, yeah, we're talking stuff. about the, not the fourteen yes, carat because yes. that means four, fourteen percent is gold. See, people think fourteen carat is yeah, it. Yeah. Fourteen carat means fourteen percent is gold. The other, which is, is a hundred percent of everything, uh -huh. the other is all metal. metal. <laughs> okay, yeah. so there you go. So when you do minus, oh yeah, this is only eight percent gold. Stop thinking you got something because I, I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. I was about to talk about Cowtown, but we need Cowtown. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> only a few folks out there mad right, at me. Right. Don't talk about my other sanctuary. <laughs> my mom. Oh, my mom. <laughs> All right. All right. So whose height was nine stories high and the breadth of it, the width of it, was six cubits. Mm -hmm. So that's almost half of that. Mm -hmm. It was that tall and almost that wide. I want us, though, to look at verse 7. Because, you know, in this story, we're going to paraphrase just to get to verse 7. The king has set out a decree that whenever you hear the sound of the music playing, I already got my band out there. Mm -hmm. When you hear the music, everybody is to bow yes, down. Yes. So in verse 7, verse 7, oh, yeah, uh, do I want to go? There? Yes. Verse 7, because there's something I want you to read later. Okay. Verse 7 says, therefore, at that, at that time... When all the people heard the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, the sackbut, the psaltery, and all kinds of music. Mm -hmm. So now we have something going on. Mm -hmm. Because they, they have their instruments. Mm -hmm. Listen, their instruments. Cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and all kinds of music. So, the, so right here, King Nebuchadnezzar is bringing in different sounds. Mm -hmm. Even using the same instruments, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but now the sound is different. Uh -huh. We're missing yes, something. Yes, Here we go again. Yes, we're missing. I'm just. Mm -hmm. We're not. We have no commentary. Yes, yes, no nothing. Google. Mm -hmm. It's not even in our notes. It's just straight. And this is King James. Mm -hmm. Just straight Bible. scripture. Mm -hmm. So it says here uh, again. When they heard the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, the sackbut, the psaltery, five things, mm -hmm. right? And all kinds of music. Mm -hmm. We have to watch the influence of the enemy mm -hmm. to get us to compromise mm -hmm. our Christianity. Mm -hmm. To get us to compromise our call. And many times we can see the same old thing, that instrument. Mm -hmm. But we, but when it is used demonically, mm -hmm. when it is used to influence you away from mm -hmm. worshiping the truth mm -hmm. and living God, it will be a sound. That's it. That's a it. different sound. Yeah. Uh, some kind of sound that makes you say, hmm, mm -hmm. 
Wow. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying gospel music should not adapt. Mm -hmm. I write gospel music. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying we should not have our different genders yeah, of gospel right, music. Right. I'm not saying we should not have our different forms of it. You have mm -hmm. you have hymns, you have mm -hmm. choir, mm -hmm. you have quartet, mm -hmm. you have solos, you have group, you have contemporary, and you have gospel jazz. Mm -hmm. it, it goes on gospel right. rap. It goes yes. on and on. Mm -hmm. But the thing we need to see is this. We have to watch the sound mm -hmm. that's coming from the same familiar instruments. That's it. That's good, Michelle. In music, not too many instruments have changed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not have been invented or created yeah, sure. since what we normally have yeah. all from the original thank you that's the better word now we have amplified mm -hmm. or electrified instruments right. we went from the acoustic piano mm -hmm. to the electric piano mm -hmm. to the keyboard to all of that so we have amplified mm -hmm. it we have electrified it but whenever we are now creating things and it's given that sound that's unfamiliar yes the sound that's not edifying people or glorifying God, but a sound, it says right here, all and all kinds of music. The sound that will cause you to take your worship away from worshiping God. And now you're worshiping self, people, things, ideology. Do you hear that? People do worship ideas. They are worshiping inventions. They are worshiping people. We're not building images anymore. We're doing it through technology. Mm -hmm. We're doing it through again mm -hmm. ideas. Mm -hmm. We're calling it. Uh, we're calling it religion. Yeah, that's true. And that's why we ascribe and we tell our members mm -hmm. we are believers. Mm -hmm. We are saved. Christian, you could call me a Christian, but um, Jesus didn't call me to be a Christian. Mm -hmm. Christians was given in the book of Acts mm -hmm. by the ungodly, by a, a, a worldly king who said they are Christians. Mm -hmm. And that and, and that was only because he said they are Christ-like. Right. And that's what a Christian means. So if you say I'm a Christian, yes, because I want to be Christ-like. Right. I'm trying to be Christ-like. I live to be Christ-like. Yes, yes, but more than a Christian, mm -hmm. I am a child of God. That's it. That's it. That's good. Hallelujah. That's good. So I hope we're really chewing on verse number seven yes, here. Yes. And Bishop, one of the things, and that is one of the things that the enemy uses to um, to uh, uh, kind of lure, lure people away from God. It, through music, music is one of those things. We have to be careful. Yes, that's one of the things the enemy is still using to, um, to but, get people. But let's to go real deep with mm -hmm. this because mm -hmm. some right now may be a little bit uncomfortable mm -hmm. because they still like their blues, their mm -hmm. jazz, mm -hmm. their, well, I just, this, I've heard it for years mm -hmm. from church folks. Well, I, just, I can't go to sleep unless I'm playing music. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? What's well, going to keep me woke? <laughs> because if I'm, now maybe for some people it does, but for me, the, the hearing chords and hearing lyrics is going to keep me up and get my gift yeah. stirred up. Mm -hmm. So I don't need to sleep to music. Mm -hmm. I need, it's all right to play music, but I need to go to sleep mm -hmm. when it's time to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. That's just me, Pastor. Mm -hmm. It might be you, too, because, mm -hmm. it, uh, well, there are times uh, you've heard me playing music while you were trying to sleep. Mm -hmm. That's only because I'm working on music, mm -hmm. you know, yes. but not using it as to go to sleep. And I know there is music soothing to let you, come yes. on, we're, we're not being yes. that um, religious. petty, religious, mm -hmm. <laughs> come on, you know, all the words are escaping me. But I just want to look at something right here. I agree. Oh, what I want to say to what you're saying. And if you notice with the stores, the the allurement into the store is the window. True. The, true. Window. the window. The window dressing. Mm -hmm. But because we're in a different culture now, mm -hmm. since the invention of the television mm -hmm. and media, it is now music. Yes. yes. If you notice that, mm -hmm. you know a store or a product. By the name, by the sound of the song. Yeah, the jingle. The yeah. jingle. Mm -hmm. And you know I write jingles. Mm -hmm. The jingle mm -hmm. that is played. That's it. And it lures us in. So you don't even have to see the product, but hear the sound. You know what the product you is. You know what the product is. And notice is. what they keep. They going back to pull out oldies. Yes. They going back yep. to sample, yes, yes, to to, yes. to a cover, the cover. They using all kinds yes, of terms now. Kind of terms, yep. So in, but in verse 7, I want you to look at three mm -hmm. things that the Holy Ghost highlight to me. Therefore, at that time. So we have to see that the times change. Mm -hmm. And you'll read that more in Daniel chapter 7, but we're not going to go ahead of ourselves. Times change. And this is in the power of the enemy. Mm -hmm. The enemy will seek to change time. Yeah, and laws. About and laws. Yep. 
All of, and we see that happening. We see it happening. Now, don't say daylight saving time. No, we're talking about <laughs> time, when times change, things change in, and we think differently mm -hmm. according to the change of the time. Mm -hmm. So, the, therefore, at that time, and we have to know that the Bible teaches us in Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12, it says, A woe to the inhabitants yeah. of the earth and in the sea. Mm -hmm. That means creation, all of creation, mm -hmm. not just humans. Mm -hmm. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and in the sea, for Satan has come down with great wrath. He was kicked out and yeah. he was mad on his way down yeah. with great wrath. And then it says in Revelation 12, yeah. for he knows... And see, here's what we don't know. That's right. But he knows that his time is short. His time. So here we are. Uh, Daniel 3 is, God knows I feel the prophetic yes, and the yes, apostolic tonight. Yes, yes. In Daniel 3 and 7, therefore at that time, mm -hmm. Satan knows how to make use of his time. Yes, yes. While we that's waste time. time. That's true. That's good. That's good. Bishop. While we that's miss good. time. Yes. While we sleep on yes, time. Yes, that's good. Bishop. While we excuse ourselves from the time, time to step up. The yes. Bible says this in Ephesians Paul said, it is high time yes. that we await. Wait. High time. Yes, it is right. overtime. It's due time. Yes, yes. Everybody yes. talk about see, my season. You're in the season. And Satan doesn't say, while y'all talking seasons, all of your seasons are in time. That's right. And he's manipulating, and he's manipulating the seed time, time yep. which means you're all you can do is get stuck in my season, in this season. And you think it's so prophetic that God is saying, this season, watch it. Because Satan knows that the seasons, the four seasons, are bound or wound up in time. And he's been, you said it, he's manipulating the time. But God has called us to redeem the time. Redeem the time. We are doing This is the culture shock. Yes, yes. The God of mighty. Therefore, at that time, we got to underline it. There's the first thing. Come on, right there. Revelation in verse 7. All right, and then we have the instruments. He said, at that time, and all kinds of music. Mm -hmm. That was the second revelation. Mm -hmm. And the third thing, all the people, the nations, and languages fell down. Mm -hmm. All the people, the nations, and every language. Bow down. That's scary. Yeah, that's it. That is. It wasn't just all the people mm -hmm. that were out there in that field or whatever. In the mm -hmm. No, here we are. In the plain of Dura. All right, in verse 1, mm -hmm. it wasn't just all the people in the mm -hmm. in the plain of Dura. It says, and all nations. Wow. Because within every person is a nation. Wow. That's in good. every yeah. public gathering yeah. is a nation. Mm -hmm. Every convocation. Mm -hmm. Woo. Every convention. Mm -hmm. There's why you're coming with your best dress, mm -hmm. but you're going back home to your nation. Mm -hmm. That's good. So what are you taking back? That's good. What are you taking back? Child, I broke my heel off when I shouted. You know how much I paid for these shoes? That's what you're taking back to your nation. Child, all my bees fell off my dress while in the convocation. That's what you're taking back to you. Well, that's how we're dressing them. We're not dressing ready to roll in the floor and then swing from the... We're dressing it. You said it earlier. The showcase. But anyway, anyway. All right. So we have that threefold revelation. Therefore, at that time. This is the way the Lord gives it to me, Pastor. You know that. Uh, the second thing, all kinds of music. And thirdly, that all people, the nations and languages fell down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar, the king. There it is again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That ne Why do we have to keep having the reiteration of the king? Mm -hmm. Because here's the issue. The issue is there is a worldly power. There is a spiritual power that's of the dark side. Mm -hmm. Satanic. That is having influence over the nations. Wow. Wow. Culture shock. Oh my God. Look at verse 12. Mm -hmm. There are certain Jews. Now the uh, Nebuchadnezzar's men are coming back to him. There are certain Jews whom you have set over the affairs of the prophets of Babylon. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Mm -hmm. These men, O king, watch this in underlining your Bible, have not regarded you. They're ignoring you. They're not having respect. Right. You're the king, Nebuchadnezzar. They don't care, Nebuchadnezzar. They have no regard for you, number one. Mm -hmm. Second thing, they serve not, not your gods. gods. And you know that's the lowercase g yep. because there's only one God. They serve not your, your gods. gods, three, 
nor worship. Here's the problem. Nor worship the golden image. Here's the problem. Number one, they have no regard for you, King. That was the first lie. Because they, watch this. The same men told Nebuchadnezzar, we're in verse 12. They said, there are certain Jews whom you have set over the affairs of the province of Babylon. Mm -hmm. So they had regard for him. Right, right. He signed their paycheck. That's, that's right. That's right. <laughs> they respected the fact. Oh, that's thank right. you, king. That's right. They didn't want to be in Babylon. Right. They were taken away from Judah. Right. But now that they're here, Make it work for they're making it work. Right. I mean, come on. They're living in nice that's homes. Right. They have right. nice government jobs. Mm -hmm. They're getting an income. Mm -hmm. Who's complaining? So there's the first. That's what the enemy does. That deception. Mm -hmm. Look at the next thing. They serve not your gods. Mm -hmm. Nebuchadnezzar already knew that. Exactly. He took them away from Judah That's when they right. served a true and living God. They did not have idols. There was no image of God. The closest thing to an image of God was the Ark of the Covenant. Mm -hmm. And we know that when Babylon came and invaded Jerusalem, if you don't know, people like Jeremiah and certain priests mm -hmm. took the Ark of the Covenant, uh -huh. took certain scrolls, and they fled and they hid it. Uh, we can't go into that one right. because that's another deep one. Yes. God knows that's another deep one right there. Yes. But they have, they serve not your gods. Nebuchadnezzar already knew that. Mm -hmm. Here's the problem. Look at the platform the enemy will set up mm -hmm. just to get to the point that will nail it. Mm -hmm. We got to build a case. Yes. So yes. they're building a case. And here was the real image. Nor worship the, gold. the golden image. Watch this. Which you have set up, I again, pride, yep. which you set up. They could have just said, and neither do they worship the golden image. They could have came out from the beginning. Mm -hmm. King, those three Hebrew boys are worshiping the image. Mm -hmm. But they had to make it said, they don't regard you. Yes, they had to make it personal. They don't worship your God. They don't serve your God. Mm -hmm. And they don't worship the golden image, which you, you have yeah. set up. But look at verse 13. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it was a rage and fury until they hit the one that they hit the nerve. That's it. Nor That's worship it. the golden image. Yeah, and spot. the enemy yeah. is mad mm -hmm. when you do not bow down yeah, yeah. to the culture of this world. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. enemy gets mad mm -hmm. and calls you all kind of names. Yeah. Pastor, we need to bring this yes, in. Yes, we have not even touched anything. We have, uh, <laughs> but we won't touch something. Yes, yes. I said, we have not, we, where have we crossed the line, Bishop? Where have we crossed the line? Can we table that one? Okay. Or no, but that is the topic for tonight. Yes. Can we table that? That's Can we bring that up next yes. week? Where have we crossed the line? Because, and the reason why I say that is because we're trying to keep the time. Yes, yes. But I, I think there's certain things we do need to say. Benny Hinn made a statement. His, his comment was, our lifestyle should match our heavenly citizenship. That's good. Our That's good. lifestyle should match our heavenly citizenship. Pastor, would you find Colossians 3 and 1 in the message yes. translation? Yes. And I'm the one that told Pastor yes. this one. <laughs> she didn't come up with message. Yes. I told her this one. <laughs> and it reads, so if you're serious about living this new resurrection life. Can I be old school? Yes. So if you're serious, uh -huh. now we're going to close. So if you're serious about living this new resurrection, resurrection life, life with Christ. With Christ. Act like it. Act like it. No, don't look at me and say, look at that Karen. Act, act like, like it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Pursue the things over which Christ presides. Pursue the things over which Christ presides. That's good. The things that he, he rules, rules over. over. The it. things that pleases God. Yes. Pursue those things. Pursue that lifestyle. That's right. Um, don't shuffle along, eyes to the ground, absorb with the things right in front of you. Look up and be alert to what is going on around look Christ. Look up and be, stop, Pastor, look up and be, stop looking at the things in the world because it's That's bringing right. you down, That's it's right. depressing That's you, it's, it's draining right you, it's running up your blood pressure. Yes. I mean, you're fearful, you're worried. I mean, come on, some of us oh, are anxiety. worried about things. It's all oh, the anxiety. Yeah. It's through the roof. Yeah. And then the next day you're sick when everything was all you and you knew this is here and that's there. So why are you still upset? Mm -hmm. God is in control. Absolutely. And then when we panic, Pastor, when we don't have faith, how do we feel the next day when we find out God worked it out? Mm -hmm. 
It's true. You worked your emotions for what? It's true. Don't uh, add years to your life. It's true. Don't don't take away from your life because you're wearing over something that you even while in it many times you have knowledge that it's all right. It's true. And even if you don't. You have to believe that God is in control. Amen. Oh, we Amen. say that, it's Pastor, true. but do we really believe it's it? It's true. The, the Holy Spirit, um, a while ago, let me know that the reason why people have anxiety is not a love issue for Christ. It's a trust issue. Wow. We don't trust our anxieties because we're not we're trusting, trusting Jesus. God. We don't trust Come Jesus. on. You it's can't true. say it plainer than that. Yes, it's true. Awesome. So uh, read what you said. You said, um, so said don't shuffle along. Yeah. Eyes to the ground. Uh -huh. Absorb with the things that are in front of you. Look up, Look up and be alert to what is going on around Christ. Stop right there. So that means no matter what's going on in the world, what God is doing right That's now. That's what we need to pay attention he's to. He's doing a lot. That's and it. it's happening. It's happening. It is popping. It. it is jumping. It. it is happening. But you're missing it because you're looking at the wrong thing. That's right. That's right. Woo. Look, it says, um, look, we are to look to the hills from where our help comes from. Psalm 121. You know yes. That's it. So uh, look, uh, look up and be alert to what is going on around Christ. That's where the action is. See things from his perspective. Pastor. That's your <laughs> with the revelation from the night alone, we can go on, but we're true. really trying to it's keep true. the lesson the because we're back in the Holy Spirit. He took no, no he took did. us where we need we to. Did we didn't, we didn't divert we from. Didn't. We, we right did not. We, we kept it right, right there. there. Yes. But he just began. You can study. That's wonderful. But you will find that he says in that hour you will. He will give you what, what to say. say. That's in your yes. Bible. In that hour, he will give you what to say. It's good to have your study notes so you can have something to fall on. But when the Holy Ghost speaks, better to hear from him. You can pack those notes up and save that for another time. But listen, this is part of the culture shock. The enemy is offended because you won't bow down to his sounds. Yes, that's good. I'm not talking about instruments. That's and stop right. thinking I'm talking about every form of secular music. Mm -hmm. It's whatever is catching your ear. Amen. Gossip Attention. is a sound. Yes. Hello. And and you tune into it like it's melody. Yes. Like it's music. Yes. You can't live with you want it. Some of you are only happy when you hear gossip mm -hmm. and are gossiping. It's true. So that is a sound. sound. Music is a sound and it's universal. Mm -hmm. I was interviewed one time for a, what a newspaper and we were to talk about our music and I said well you, uh, music is a universal sound mm -hmm. so you can sing we can sing in English and sing gospel mm -hmm. in a, and you know we have yes. in a foreign country where black gospel music is not there and they literally ran up on the stage. They, up. they loved it. They, they loved, loved it. it. They ran up. Evangelist Jennifer Hall. Yes. She became, they came up with roses and everything. I also sang and I just got a hand. <laughs> <laughs> I sang, they gave me a ticket back to United States. <laughs> gave me a one-way ticket back to the United States. <laughs> Evangelist Hall sang, they ran up on stage with roses. bouquet of flowers. Yes. <laughs> We love it. We love it. We love it. Yes. Listen, this is Dr. Courtney Pope. This is Pastor Audrey Pope. Don't forget, we are in the middle of a series. This is only week two. Now, you know, this is getting deep and crazy. Okay. So you don't want to miss week three because we're going to take some of what we didn't say in week two and put it into week three. This is getting crazy. We're going to put, we're going to work it out. Yes. But listen, there's a culture shock, but we want you to stay in the culture war because if you are in Christ, you are on the winning side. That's it. That's it. You Amen. are. You represent the light. Until the next time, know this, please. We want you to grow in grace and, and in the, the knowledge, knowledge of our Lord and, and Savior, Savior Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Be blessed.